What's going on everyone? Welcome on back into some Anno 1800. Alright, so today I think we're going to come back to the old world again and do some more expansion over in North Happing. And I would like to get some more investors in here. <clears throat> excuse me. And prepare for another uh, World's Fair to be built. I would like to have a second World's Fair. I've never ever built two World's Fair in a game before. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to build another one. So, we're going to get ready to work on that. Before we do that, though, I do want to do a couple of things in Crown Falls real quick. The first is I would like to change out the uh, plus one reward from World's Fair right here for the Right to Remain Act. City has grown uglier. The reason for that... Oh, what's going on right here? I see the same old faces Can you... Uh, here. Do we not have... No, we do. Are we just running out that quickly? We are running out that quickly. Okay. Uh, well, that just means I actually should just get a... Actually, no, I have a cargo ship. I have a cargo ship right here. I have the Flying Dodo. Let's get the Flying Dodo. Oh, I'm going to say it like that because it's fun to say it like that. The Flying Dodo. Sorry, I don't know what it, I don't I don't know. Don't ask people. Just it's been a long day. I've been out in the sun. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just going a little crazy from the heat or something. I don't I don't know. Uh, what do we got? What do we got here? Here we go. That's I want one of him in there. So we're going to trade the early bird off for the flying dodo. Okay, take that off of the route, and we're just going to park him over here for right now. Now that should help with getting more fur up here to us. Okay, so anyways, right to remain act. The reason I want to do this is mostly because I am sick to death of all of you people over on my Discord and making fun of me because I don't have a single, at least the nose yet, or one of the extra, or, or the Anna Union that can make extravaganza steamers, or several of those legendaries. You people suck, and I'm guy will get one. I'm going to get one. So there, I I, I have the right to remain act. Hopefully, we will get an Elise the Nose here very soon, and then I can slot her in somewhere and start trying to get um, an Anna Union so we can make my own extravaganza steamers. So there, man, I stuck my tongue out at you all. Uh, anyways, all right, so that's kind of the thing I want to do there. Crown Falls is sort of in a holding pattern again until Bright Harvest. Bright Harvest is going to come along, and there's going to be so much I want to do here in terms of redecorating changes. I've only seen like a handful of the ornaments that we get, so we're going to get so many new ornaments to play with, and there's going to be so much I want. I'm probably going to want to change in the city that I think I'm going to really hold off on doing much. But we will get around to some more stuff in Crown Falls, do a few little odds and ends. But I think for the most part, we're going to take a little bit of a break again from the city here. We do have our lovely little section up here we built that I am very happy with. But yeah. Just gonna kind of sit back for a little bit until Bright Harvest releases, and then come in and do a whole bunch of lovely new work in Crown Falls. Uh, one other thing, I uh, let's see, I played around in the New World here, not on Orizalva. We haven't messed around here. I did, uh, I did fix up our zoo. Our zoo, if you remember, was right here, and it faced a little bit different. I changed it up, and I went ahead and put in some more decorations. I was just bored the other day. I have a, a spot he is going to be. This last spot is for the uh, Eastern Elephant, which we are still missing from this collection. Maybe one day I'll get it. And I thought it would be kind of neat. Actually, this right here needs to be uh, turned around that way. There we go. Uh, I've got some, like, uh, these are little... These things came from the uh, land ornaments mod. Little little elephant statues on top of the of the columns. I thought that was kind of cool because this is going to be like our main attraction in the back is the eastern elephants. So I thought those looked kind of neat up there. And a little elephant statue on this side. 
I didn't want to put walls and like gates all the way around this zoo. It's just kind of it's just an open zoo. It's just an open, friendly, everyone's welcome. Come walk around as you would like kind of zoo. So I, I cleaned that up. I thought it looked kind of nice. So anyways, now that all of that is done and I am done yabbering, let's get back over to the old world here. And let's prepare for some more expansion. Uh, one thing, I was talking with one of my viewers on Facebook the other day, and I basically just asked him, what, did, what are you thinking about some of the layouts I've been doing? Um, he is someone that has given me a lot of great ideas for layouts and given me a lot of wonderful constructive feedback on the layouts. Um, and if you have constructive feedback, I, I do stress constructive, don't just say, hey, it sucks. Tell me why it sucks. Tell me why. I want to know why. Um... But he has given me some really good feedback on the layouts. Um, and something I really have thought about doing now is how I was changing up some of the the road directions in one of the other cities I was doing. Just to try and keep things looking a little a little different and not all the same. So I like I was grabbing squares, uh, breaking things up. Just trying to just trying to make it all look a little different and not the same everywhere, because I know that can get really boring to look at. You know when it's all this, why, that construction site's not blocked. Boom, build it. Um, I know it can get kind of boring to see the same grid pattern. Um, there's a section that you know when I was originally doing all of this down here, I know this kind of got a little boring because it's all there was no space in between anything. Um, I. Y'all are going to kill me. I'm probably going to come and redo some of this again. Again, once Bright Harvest releases, because I plan on having some really neat industrial districts. Uh, you can see right here, I've actually started making little... Uh, okay, it's not a roundabout. It's a it's a rectangle about. Yes, this is a rectangle about. I don't know what I'm going to put in the middle, but I've got them laid out. So I'm going to try to make... And I, oh, I put a little roundabout right here. Now, I'm going to try to start changing up and add some variety into some of my 10 by 10s a little bit more just to change them up a little bit so it's kind of something i want to do right here i want to i want to spice things up a bit so you know i want to grab a couple of different things here toss them in and we do we definitely need to go up this direction go there with it and then come over here with it um, let's see if I grab this I could go okay we could do this this and this so then have that open and put a little plaza in front of it that would work grab uh actually i don't need that one because that's got a fire station in it that we don't really need at the moment let's see if i turn it flip it this way how is it gonna look yeah let's do it that way that'll do yeah i don't remember why why I left some of this right here open, but I did for some reason. C can't remember why though. One thing is this back here is going to have to start kind of phasing out into some other some other stuff. Probably, yeah, I'll probably need to rearrange this back here. I am going to leave the framework knitters because I, I think I will have some uh, workers on this island still. So I do want to leave the framework knitters on this island. Um, this down here is probably going to be a lot of workers and stuff down in here. 
So I could probably move my framework knitters down there here shortly. Oh, and uh, y'all, several of you have been like, you need to decorate this place like you do Crown Falls. Yes, yes, I do. I agree. I do. I just uh, just haven't gotten there yet. I will get there. I promise. All, all, all things in good time. I will get there with it. I promise. I, I got to get the layout of the city in first, and then I can go back and really start, like, beefing up the... the uh, the ornamentals and stuff once I get a decent layout going that I want. It's kind of my plan. Get a good layout and then come back and fix it up a bit more. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't want to put any houses right there actually. Uh, what are you? Your Tega Forest? Cordillera. Cordillera. One hand took the ready. There, uh, what do we got? Oh, I've got some expeditions going. Let's check those real quick. Uh, the Tempest is beyond anything you've ever faced. Uh, let's use the steam engines to try to get through them. Ooh, let's overheat the engines. Yeah, good deal. Got through that storm. I don't think I have any other animals at the moment in this over here, do I? Uh, I got a couple. Oh, uh, you know what? Let me, uh, whoops, I hope that didn't just, uh, show up on the screen there. Where is my list? Yeah, I've got my spreadsheet. My lovely, lovely spreadsheet of all my things that I would like to have around here. So, in this city right here... We definitely want another Sargasso Sea. So I need to work on that, because that's going to give us more attractiveness and increased visits to this public mooring. Um, an Arctic Tundra would be good. Oh, newspaper guy. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll take care of that. Thank you. Okay. Um, an Arctic Tundra would be good, actually. I believe Arctic Tundra, is that the, is that another three-piece set? I think it is. Yeah, and I think I have all of that could go and get that don't need a domestic animals yeah Cordillera would be a good one actually for this island the Cordillera set is 10% increased workforce and income from farmer residents so the Cordillera would be good over here okay The luminaries would be good over here. That gives us plus three attractiveness from pubs and such. Pubs, variety theaters, and members clubs. Yeah. And I already have the, uh, the Tega Forest. Okay, let's jump back over here. Oh, I think I'm just about out of... Yeah, I've got a cargo ship there. Here, I've got this thing. Where, wait, where are you? You're, what are you doing over there? Oh, that's right. I had you over there to sell a couple of things that I don't need. Okay, let's bring him up there and let's pick up a few goodies. Alright, items. Alright, items here. We want to bring down... I'm not going to worry about botanical stuff and museums just at the moment. Okay, so Polar Circle, no, not Polar Circle, Tundra. I want to do an Arctic Tundra for sure. Okay, let's slow things down. Okay, the Narwhal can go back in. 
I can't wait to see what the I can't wait to get the new UI thing for this because this is actually kind of annoying having to go through here like this I'll try to find it all what is it so I've got the caribou I need a muskox and an arctic wolf okay there's the muskox oh I may not have oh no that's an arctic Fox, I need an Arctic wolf. Oh, I don't think I have an Arctic wolf. Shoot. I do have the stuff for the Cordillera, though, I think. This city is a magnet for genius. Okay, let's see who we've gotten over here. Pharos Al Sarami. That's an awesome one to get. Okay, let's go down here. So, there's part of the Cordillera. There's the Condor from for the Cordillera. Muskox. Okay, maybe I don't have it. Dire Wolf. Okay, yeah, I don't have the last piece here. So what we'll do is we will go drop this off in the old world. Let's run over to oh i've got a quest right here shoot i have a quest i almost forgot i need to take a picture of the summit May, uh maybe oh 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 there it was i heard it come on oh jeez. i'm just gonna spam click until it accepts it sure did that work there it is Dang it. Yeah, I'm going to fail this, I think. Altitude. The crevasse is right over here. Let's speed it up and try to get over there real quick. Because I completely forgot I had this quest going. Come on. Come on. There it is. And yes, I know I see all kinds of stuff I should be picking up, but I don't have time. All right. The crevasse. All right, what a pinnacle. And it gave us a magnetist. Well, you know, those are actually not bad. It produces extra oil. I won't say no to that. We do have a quest right here. Gives us an Inuit seamster. Yeah, I don't really want that. Uh, items. Try to find an Arctic fox real quick. No, no, I keep saying Arctic Fox and Arctic Wolf. I need a wolf. That's another one of the caribou. Um, you know what? Yeah, I want to get that caribou too. Give me, give me that caribou. Cause I don't remember if I had an extra one or not. Give me that thing. I want a wolf. I know I have another muskox. Man, how hard was it? I didn't think it was that hard for me to find the wolf. And there's the muskox. Okay, I'm going to pause the recording real quick while I flip through here and try to find a wolf so I'll be back in a second okay got me two arctic wolves <laughs> only got up to 325,000 on the uh, reroll all right let's send that to the old world as well the reason I wanted to is I'm gonna put one down I'm gonna put one of those sets down in the uh, new world on Las Bernanderas yeah poor Las Bernanderas is going to have those the poor arctic guys down there are gonna be uh, having trouble in the hot humid south all right, what we got? Trespassers, an ambush of missiles. Do we hide, fight, or flee? Let's try to root out and tackle the ambushers. Oh dear, their darts are tipped with poison. Uh, knowledge of local practices may yield results. Okay, so we got that. Let's continue on. And I believe we had one more going. 
Oh, we have a sickness on the ship. Oh, no, no, no. Sailor under the mast. Okay. Let's lift the mast with a makeshift lever, and the man is freed. Good deal. Okay. Just keep an eye out for all my... I have ships everywhere. What are you doing? Ah, that's right. You were doing that. And I wanted to buy some stuff from you. Those were super expensive. And those are going to go over to Cape Trelawney. Actually, no, 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 they were not. They were... No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, dear God. Quit. There. He was going to the New World. Okay. And you are going to come over here... And then I need someone to go to Madame Kahina. Because at some point, I've got to try to find the uh, the elk or whatever it is. There's another part of the Cordillera set that I'm I'm missing. What is he called? Uh, oh, it's the Spectacled Bear. Yeah, he's... I gotta find him. But we're going to put another Arctic Tundra set right here with this three set. And then this zoo will be completed. So let's uh, let's get this sorted out and kind of, you know, looking like just looking out. like something maybe. How we want this to look? Let's make it look nice. Uh, Topiary Avenue. Then under our farmers here, we do have a nice big fountain I could grab. Put it there. Okay. Ship should be here. So let's drop off those two parts and we'll take the Cordillera stuff up to here to drop off. Wait, where am I going here? There he is. Okay, another uh, animal enclosure right here. He's going to get the, uh, musk, the musk ox. Uh, which, you know, let's face him this way, actually. Let's put that there. Elk. Oh, and our city has grown more beautiful. Lovely. And then the elk can go right there, I think. That'll look nice. Now, let's uh, put a nice fence around it. We'll just do a, a basic, just a regular old default game fence. This one right here will be just fine. right next to the uh, stinky polluting uh yeah I just kind of noticed that it's actually right next to all that pollution all that polluting industry and stuff yeah maybe I will put it right there maybe we'll actually put him up here yeah let's put him up here has returned from its voyage road and then this that's what I want that would be the sound of our, of our airship coming in. Yes, let's come drop off a couple of those right here. Now, let's toss in our fences I want. Over. Whoops. Okay. And get rid of that one. Couple of corner pieces. And 
and some end pieces. There we go. Lovely. And we will just surround it with a road. Perfect. Let's get us some uh, connecting roads up in here. We'll go to there and there. Mimic that. Like so. Um, you know what? Hold on. Let's finish. Let's just fill that in completely right there. Maybe we'll come over one extra tile. That'll work. Uh, airship, are you here yet? Where? Where is he? There he is. There's the airship. Come on down and drop off a fox. Then I'm going to send him on to Cape Trelawney to pick up another muskox and then head over to the New World. Alright, on to Cape Trelawney with you. Where'd my zoo go? There it is. And you get a fox. Okay, that's what I was wondering. I was wondering how that was going to look. So that just means I need to go right there with it. Cool. There we go. Lovely. I like it. Now, and I'll decorate the rest of it in later on when I have some more time. I'm missing particular material. Hmm. What's going on here? Where are we getting... Where are we getting that from? Like, how do you have cotton fabric? I'm not bringing cotton fabric there, am I? I don't think I am. No. <laughs> where are you getting cotton fabric at, buddy? I'm producing it. Oh no, I have a demand for it. I was like, what? Where is that trade? Where is that bloody trade union at? There it is. Confounded tricky. Do I need it? Yeah, I do need it, don't I? We careen into the unknown. Actually, no. Do I? I'll I'll deal with you in a second. Hold on. Let me uh let me get rid of him. I got rid of him. Yeah, I don't need him. Why didn't I have that extra? I'm confused. I don't know. Now I've got two. I don't know why I had that other one. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. But now we have enough. Maybe I was future-proofing myself. Maybe that was it. Oh, well. Uh, oh, the furs, though. Yeah, dang it. Furs, though, were kind of low. Didn't mean to go out. Uh, fur production. We needed eight. Escoping was bringing us five. Okay, so Escoping is only bringing me five of them. Where is that hunting cabin stuff at? It was up here, wasn't it? Okay, productivity 40%, 30%. There. Fixed. That ought to be enough, I think. Yep, that's at nine. So that's going to be enough furs now. All good. Well, all of our farmers should be ready to upgrade now. So let's do a mass upgrade of farmers.
always hard to keep places so now he top. has increased that attractiveness boosted me up another 100 and increased 5% chance of getting some more specialists. Now we, uh, we're only at a 20% probability of guests with only a 1500 income, but you know, we are, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, you can drop off the alpaca and the condor and then come back down. You can come up here and trying to find the uh, spectacled bear is probably going to be a pain in my but isn't it where's my handy dandy asset viewer oh that's right it's you can't buy the spectacle bear it either comes from a quest uh, quest from Benta a quest from Madame Kahina uh, ship drops or hostile takeovers from Benta or zoological expedition medium Life and Dang. Okay, so that one's gonna actually going to be fairly difficult to get. Well, these are maybe these are medium. Maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, let's try to continue this on. Okay. Continue. These are both medium, so maybe I'll get lucky. Let's just keep trying. Oh, shoot. Lady Luck did not smile on me, and I just uh, screwed up that expedition. Dang. Uh, okay, who who does, who wants to be upgraded here? Yeah, these guys over here do. Let's upgrade all of these guys and then all of these guys get to be turned into engineers I have to be yep that fell into place. yeah I can't believe where do I have a Cordillera at I think it's over here where I have a Cordillera set is it I have the domestic animals. No? Wait, where is the Cordillera set at? Where where did I put that? Does anybody remember? The festival has <laughs> Does ended. anyone remember where I put the Cordillera set? There's the Tega Forest and there's an Arctic Tundra. This is my only zoo over here, and it's the domestic animals. Oh, wait. Is it New World? Did I put it down here? No, it's Eastern Jungle. Oh, God, where did I... Oh, wait, what is... No, that's... That's the Ocean Predators. Oh, God, where did I... Wait, did I put it anywhere? Is it just sitting? Is it just sitting? I bet it's just sitting around. Hold on. Uh, it was an epic item. No? No, it's not there. Oh god, where? Okay, where have I done with it? I'm trying to think where else I could have put it. By right anyway. Yeah, he's not being affected by it, so it's not on this island. Um, We're in it's not on that island. I know it's not over here. I don't have any other islands here that I could have put it on. I don't. This is my only zoo right here. And we know that's not it. It's Tega and Arctic. But it's not there. Where's my spectacled bear? What have I done with my bear? You guys? What have I done with the bear? Um... 
it's not there. It's not there. Not there. Oh god, where is my bear? I've lost the bear. Let me go back over here. Hold on. Did I? Oh, there he is. I found him. I found him. I found him. He's right there. I was going to put him on this island. That's right. Okay. You come down here and pick up the spectacle bear. Wait. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. He's going to come over here. He's going to pick up the muskox. Then pick up the spectacled bear. Take all of that back to the old world and go to the new world. Jeez. I forgot. I put the spectacled bear down here because I was going to use him on this island. But I decided not to. I'm going to actually use it. I, I want to use him in the old world. That's where he went. All right. Speed, speed it up. Speed it up, Angie. Okay. So you get another muskox. Oh, not the, not the stupid sword muskox. All right. Then we're going to come down here and grab the bear and then take all of that around. Then we'll get back to the old world finally. A crocus buds at its own pace. This is all doing okay. Yeah, it looks like we're doing bit much better on the uh, furs you now. Celebrate we got your plenty of fur coming. Okay. Grab my bear. Back to the old world with you. And back to the old world with me. Good deal. Yeah, I was very confused for a moment there. <laughs> if you if you couldn't tell, I was just a little confused as to the location of that item. Now, next things. Uh, let's just go ahead and get to work on reinforced concrete here. I know, I'll, I can't believe it. I'm actually going to make a reinforced concrete chain. Another one. I normally never build more than, like, one of these things, but I kind of need it, so it's kind of got to happen. just don't know exactly where I want them, though. Yeah, he can go right there. That's fine. Now. That's all looking good. That's all looking good. However, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Steel is not looking so hot. Where is... Most of our steel is being produced up here. Which I think I'm going to get a... Uh, a Beshamal converter to go up there? Actually, no. I take that back. No, I don't want a Ferras al Sarami over that. I don't want it to affect the oil. Okay, let's uh, let's go. I, I, we've got some another Beshamal converter. Let's take the flagship and go grab that. All right, items, trade union items. Actually, there's probably a couple things I can just go ahead and take over there. Let's grab that guy. Ah, uh, here we go. Steelworks. Yeah, this is what I need right here. Henry Zanchi. Let's take him over. Actually, no, I'll take that back. I'm not going to use that it's just yet. I have other plans for him. I have other plans for that guy. Ironworks and foundries, that's the one. The Bechamal Converter. All production buildings, provides maintenance, provides electricity. Okay, sewing machines, that one's actually a good one to take with me. Yeah, okay, let's take those back to the old world as well. All right. So that will help increase the amount of steel that we're outputting. So it should all be good. Champagne is good. Oh, we don't have enough concrete. I was like, why can't I upgrade? I don't have enough concrete yet. And yeah, that thing is not electrified either. Didn't even consider that. Um, okay. 
we'll just uh, we'll just move you somewhere where you will get electricity, I suppose. Then. I would like him to have a bit of power. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Okay. I'm going to move him elsewhere. I'm going to move him down there, I think. Yeah, we're fine there. We'll be okay here shortly. Alright, you... Let's see. Actually, I wanted you to come up here and drop that off. Alright, finally. Yeah, it does take three concrete. That's unfortunate. Oh, God, you know what? That just reminded me. I was trying to buy an island, wasn't I? Oh, I still can. Not yes, please. You want to finance the... I forgot I was trying to buy out uh, Kindermund. Well, I remembered now. We're going to take Kindermund. Kindermind. Kinderminde. I don't know how to say that word. We're going to try to take that city from her. How about that? The ambulance is... Oh, sweet fancy. Yeah, we're just missing electricity over there. How is this doing? I wonder if I could support another... Another one of those. I wish there was a way to see oil. I need there to be a way to see oil. Like, how much I'm producing, how much I'm consuming of it. There is not. And it is really frustrating. I don't have enough uh, enough anyways at the moment to even worry about that so okay he is here drop that off on to the new world with you and let's build ourselves a little just a tiny little tiny little zoo right here for these people artisans just a little zoo um yeah, this will work. Okay. I gave us some money. Okay. Perhaps it'll mean journeying to the center of the earth. Okay, the alpacas. Uh, oh, puzzle quest. Your city has grown I don't know where that came up at. I'll have to go and find that here in a moment. Too kind. All right, and the condors. That's right. The condors kind of made a uh, like an interesting little centerpiece, didn't it? Um, I should stick you somewhere else for the moment. Literally, it's just going to be a tiny little zoo. It's just so we can get the 10% extra workforce over here. And an itty bitty bit amount more coin. Like, not much at all. But a tiny bit more coin. How thrilling. A renowned personage has arrived. Okay, we've got somebody else in Crown Falls. Master Craftsman Frank. Ooh. Fix fur dealers instead of furs and cotton fabric. The building processes iron and wool, produces extra ponchos, work clothes, and bowler hats. Lovely. Lovely. I think he might be going over to the uh, to the old world. From its Speaking of ships going over there, here's the ship that I was wanting right here. Come right here. Yeah, Master Craftsman Frank might come up here. We may... Uh, do something a little different over here instead of the costume designer and needing fur we may just switch that out for frank and need uh wool and fur, uh, iron and wool instead of fur and wool that'd be kind of fun i like changing things out it's always a, a good time a few 
few more investors. Not many, just literally a few. Oh, we're going to have to get more concrete, though, which means I need more ships. Um, yeah, I need more ships. I need another cargo ship. Are you selling anything good? No, you're not. Buy. Sell. Buy. So, and she's got a quest for me. A uh, former pirate, 28k, and for rep for a destroy quest for a clipper. I can do that. Take us up a couple of battle cruisers down there. Take that out. Did our ship come over? Yes, he's here. Soap, actually. Uh, Soap? Is soap over here? Yes, yeah, soap is over here. That's fine. That one and that one. Okay. And then you head back to Cape Trelawney now. And then this is going to get the Bechamel Converter. Which... Hmm, sort of, kind of fixes it. Actually, I know how I can fix this. Let's decrease that down by like 25, actually. Yeah, that balanced that out perfectly. Perfectly balanced that out. Your ship has Only thing is I think now we don't have enough copper and zinc. But I think we're way overproducing on brass. And we're not way overproducing. Yeah, I'm going to have to get more copper and brass up here. I'll probably need to get uh, double check all of our iron and coal to come up here and get all of that taken care of. About the hours. Yeah, they're happy because they're not working nearly as much now. Uh, oh, it's you. Okay. We'll bring you down here and get ready to set you up. And for some reason, you have a crap ton of coffee. I don't know why you had a crap ton of coffee, but you do. I'm sure I had it for a reason. I just don't remember anymore. There's so much that happens. Fleet awaiting orders. They are stuck. Come on, get unstuck. Come on. Oh, seriously, guys? Like, like, seriously, seriously? Okay, you know what? Just y'all are y'all are worthless. Just get up there. Just take two more. Sh we'll just take two other ships over there and deal with it. What y'all's problem is? There. This see this is all we had to do. Um. Take a monitor. Monitors are fat, are relatively quick. Explosion, one of your explosion, huh? An explosion in one of your All right, use that monitor to go pick up the uh, item and take it back over to Anne Harlow. All right, and now we really are just kind of in a uh, waiting pattern until I get some more. Uh, very well. Just do a few more upgrades on them. And they probably go and check all of our productions and stuff and get all that set up and get it worked out and make sure we have everything we need for over here in the next episode, guys. That's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. And if you're watching my videos and interested in keeping up with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you'll know whenever I post a new video. Until the next one, take care.